Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Once again, I'm going to be rolling with Seattle on offense and on defense. I'm going to be using uh, the multi defensive playbook. Uh, so, going to be going against an opponent that actually is running with Atlanta. Well, Atlanta's probably one of the better teams um, online, uh, and this guy. Uh, Get some really some crazy plays uh, against against me, so you're gonna see some really fluky plays, and it's, you know it's that mana Madden juju. Uh, once again, I'm using that 52 defense. I really like it because of the pressure you get. You can see right here, I was able to go and smash him. Uh, staying in that uh, cover two shell right there, trying to take away some of his reads. He almost threw it right into me right there. Uh, so I actually he punts the ball back smartly instead of actually going for it down in his own territory to go ahead and give me a long field. So second and ten situation, one of my favorite runs. Uh, in this game is the uh, the, the pump draw. Um, always get really good blocking with that, like that. Right here, go into uh, basically uh, a, a little sluggo seam right there. So just go ahead and hit down to the uh, to the drag. He actually took the tight end route, and I just dropped it down. And I, I could not get my uh, trap plays or my power plays out of this this offset uh, gun um, wing type formation. Right here, I actually throw right in front of his user. Got away with one right there. This guy was playing real deep with his user, so uh, I was pretty, he was pretty impressed with the way he was playing his user. He wasn't playing shallow. He'd actually go ahead and take away a lot of the crosser routes, so he's probably used to playing against people that use promote uh, you know, primarily crosser routes right there. So back to uh, the, uh, the uh, draw right there, able to go ahead and get another first down. Uh, looking to the, to the crossers, he actually took that away, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take off my quarterback. Something I rarely do is running with my quarterback, so I take off with a nice little first down right there. Uh, he actually had pretty good defense with the the inside zones right there. That was just another thing it seemed like he was really prepared for. So that's one of the advantages of actually going against your opponent and doing things that are just not conventional, uh, not something that people normally see, is that they'll struggle against your offense because you're not they're, you're not using those crossing routes. You're doing something a little bit different right there. So uh, this guy actually threw into my user a lot, and you're going to see me benefit to that. Right here, he actually makes a nice little dot right over the middle with his tight end, gets some good break uh, tackle animations, and he is able to get the ball down to the 32-yard line. Once again, going with the pressure again. Uh, right here, actually, I think he threw the ball away because uh, he didn't really have a good read. And then I just zone up my guys right here, just to give him a different look because he's been going with a lot of heavy pressure. And I'm just playing over the middle. Uh, he actually, the seam route was wide open, and uh, I got a nice little block shed. But he throws two crossing route. I have basically two guys in the in the area. I hit him with an engage aid. I wasn't actually doing a lot of pressure, but you can see the defender was actually in his face. He was able to get it off. I had to go ahead and play two defenders, so that's actually gave him a good shot right there. So now I go ahead and go back to 52. Actually, nice little pressure off the edge. Lunch is able to go and, and, and sack him. Second and 17 situation, going with man coverage. Nice little out, out route. Uh, he was playing in routes and, and post the entire time, and he jumps onto an out route, and I was nowhere to be found. That was my man assignment, and he's able to go ahead and eventually. Here's a nice little read, too, right here. He's got a spot route. Defender, wide receiver's right there in the corner. The, the, the defender's not playing him. He actually drops it down. So minute and uh, se minute and two seconds left right here. I hit him with a corner. Get a nice little aggressive catch. Go ahead, no huddle. Now I love doing the spot route. This is really good. I'm going to just do a high low. I'm going to streak up Cohen and just give him his choice. He's going to either go ahead and play, play the big ball or the ball underneath. And that ball underneath is always money right there. I'm able to go and get, pick up a good 15 yards. No huddle again. And go into the corner. Uh, route right here, corner flat. Flat up my outside receiver Miller. I'm going to be looking at the corner route. And he gets a nice little block shed with Beasley. Uh, but I got rid of the ball so I don't take a sack. So... This is a play that I queued up uh, as my my base play, and it, it he doesn't get a matching principle with Gabriel off the side, so I'm only going to pop that down to the one yard line. So 13 seconds left. Uh, nice little inside zone with Howard to be able to get the ball into the, the red zone, going up 14 to seven right here, and getting the ball back in the second half. So this is just perfect situation. So back to the trap play, just couldn't get it working against this guy's defense. The way he set his defense up, uh, it worked very well. Uh, go ahead and try, try to drop it down to the running back. He actually plays it perfectly. Almost got baited into an interception right here. And then I go into one of my favorite money plays right here. 
streak up my backside receiver and you can see he's playing with depth that that deep post is basically the rod I'm actually going to hit and actually froze me right there so he gets me uh, in a three uh, in a four and out situation so I just go ahead and put the ball back I figured I, I he hasn't really shown me a lot on offense so I'm going to go and take it and sure enough he throws straight to my user we're broke once with take the ball down to the uh, five yard line I'm in uh, in uh, action right here. So one of my favorite plays right here. He actually gets nice animation, and he gets an interception to the back inside. So just a fluky play. After I get a nice little pick, he throws it to me. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and just show him basically the same type of look. I go ahead and baseline and press. And then I'm basically going to go ahead and try to take away reads. This is a good read right here, but he does not get the animation. I'm actually going to go ahead and, and, and smack him right there. So come back to the blitz and figure he, he, he had some coverage. You see he made a really good read. I probably should have had a deep blue out there. So pressure does not get checked in. Look at this. The ball flops up and then it drops down to his wide receiver for an 80 yard play on a second and 10 situation. He takes it into the red zone. Something, oh my god, man is against me right now. I'm not getting any kind of love. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back into uh, the run play right here. Nice little spin move by, by Cohen. Another spin move by Cohen. Get the ball down to uh, around the uh, past the 40 yard line right here. Nice little inside run. Uh, tough run right there. Go back into uh, one of my favorite pass plays. I uh, actually hit the sideline right there, and I did a possession catch. I probably could have racked it, but I just uh, it was just the mechanic I actually hit. Right back to the run again. Uh, get a nice little blocking right there, and actually go ahead and, and uh, Beasley just misses me on the tackle. And I actually took a nice little angle right there. I actually tried to shoot down into the gap with the inside zone. So first and goal situation. Back to the inside zone right here and get it down to the one-yard line. And uh, once again, back to the inside zone again. I know huddle him, and actually he gets really good. I should I no no huddle again down to the inside lo, uh, line right here, and actually he gets a very good user t tackle. So I would debate it right in that type of situation whether I was going to go for it or take the field goal. And I decided that since he was switching his line, I'm probably going to be able to get a hit him on a pitch. So I, that's why I went into the goal line situation, went for a fourth and one. Also, I was thinking to myself, is worst case scenario is that uh, he actually will go ahead and uh, get a, a safety. So that's why I went for it. But sure enough, on defense, he actually goes ahead and gives the ball right back to me because of that pressure. He just made a bad read. So just milking the clock right now. In the driver's seat, just need basically one more touchdown, one more score. Even a field goal is good. We milk the clock. So go with a little draw play. Haven't showed it to him all game. Pick up the easy yards. His his draw defense was just atrocious. He didn't really have for it. But you can see right here, the outside defense is really good. So uh, here's a play right here, which is really good. I actually go ahead. Look at this, this guy. Fight for the yards to get me first down. He got me a first and ten on that situation. He was he was tackled a little bit short. But I couldn't get any kind of uh, uh, the pulling animation, the trap off to the right inside in this off offset situation. So I drop it down uh, to uh, my crossing route guy right here. And then I'm actually going to be looking down there. And I actually go and drop it down to the running back for a touchdown. So up. 28 to 14, feeling pretty good about myself right here. Hit him with the pressure once again. He has no answer for it. He's actually he's he's putting all of his guys out there. Nice little run off the edge. I'm able to go ahead and, and bottle that up after a six yard six yard gainer. Once again, pressure again comes in. He drops it down. Uh, gets a nice little spin animation and actually gets a first down out of it. So first and ten situation. 36 seconds left. This guy's pretty much toast. He throws it right to my defender. Uh, I'm trying to make a big play down the middle of the, uh, down the field and I'm able to go ahead and get a nice little uh, animation or computer uh, computer pick right there. So that's pretty much game. Once again, I'm a subscriber. Thanks for support, guys. This is a Seattle series. I might be jumping into a new book before uh, Madden 20 releases and also be giving some, some critiques and some ideas on how Madden 20 um, is going to be or what my takes are on it. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thanks for support, guys. Until next time.